Hey friends, it's Amber. Welcome back to my channel for another video. Is this what you want now? Or is it because you can't forget? As you all know, I announced earlier this year that I wanted to spend a good portion of 2020 working on my first novel. I had big ambitions, big plans. It was going to be great. I was going to write all these words. I was going to finish a zero draft by the fall. Like, plans were set. I was ready to go. And then 2020 happened. To say that 2020 has taken, like, a huge hit on my creativity would be an understatement honestly. This year has just not been the year that I have felt inspired to write or even to make YouTube videos the way that I thought I was going to. But I do really really want to make more progress in my novel than I have made and so I've decided that this year I am going to participate in NaNoWriMo. <laughs> For those of you who aren't familiar with what NaNoWriMo is, it stands for National Novel Writing Month. It's a month where writers of all genres and styles and what have you dedicate 30 days, 30? 30 days has November, yeah. 30 days to writing any project that they choose. So my novel, still untitled, still called Project R, is going to be the project that I'm focusing on for November. Before I jump into my Preptober checklist and my even my goals for NaNo, I want to just give a quick update about my work in progress. So when I first set out to start writing earlier in the spring, probably around like late February, I had kind of been set on writing a romantic comedy. I really just thought that my character would be best suited in a rom-com world, in a rom-com setting with all these ridiculous things happening. The more I drafted and outlined and made progress, the more I realized that the story I was trying to tell wasn't really suited for a rom-com. It was more suited for like more traditional women's fiction or chiclet. Kind of have been working on altering what my outline and my plot lines will look like, shifting from that romantic comedy setup to more of a general women's fiction setup. From, I wanna say like March until probably August, I haven't really written a lot in the last month. I wrote about 14,000 words that are not bad and I'm not scrapping. Um, but that kind of were leaning more into that rom-com territory and may need to either be shifted or changed or pulled into other areas of the book as I keep writing. So for Nano, I am going to start like on a fresh dock and my goal is to also not edit during Nano. I don't want to edit honestly until I have my first draft completely done. So all of those other pieces will still be fair game. I just don't want them to serve as distractions while I work through 30 days of just focusing on this novel. So that is kind of like the status of my work in progress. My main character is still like the love of my life. I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with telling her story. I just want to do it justice and I want to be able to get it on paper so that it's not just in my head anymore. Those of you who have done NaNoWriMo or are familiar with it know that the month of October is generally used to like prepare for this month of writing. So in today's video, I just want to share a little bit about how I'm preparing for NaNo and what is on my Preptober checklist. First thing that I absolutely must do, and this is honestly like the most important of all of the goals I have, is to finish nailing down my outline. So I mentioned I'd kind of gone from writing this rom-com to wanting to write something that's a little bit more of the women's fiction genre, so I just need to figure out like where I'm going with this story. <laughs> Outlining has been super helpful to me in writing anything. I love starting with an outline just so I know like what the what the bones of something are. Um, so I use the save the cat method. If you watched my other video on my novel, you know that I love, love, love this book. This is Save the Cat Writes a Novel. I think this is incredibly helpful if you are a novelist and just kind of like stuck on where to start or how to organize your thoughts or even just how to organize your book. Like this has been so helpful. Over the summer, I also signed up for Jessica Brody's writing mastery course, and I honestly think it is like hands down one of the best investments I've made in my writing this entire year. It's about $12 a month, but you get access to all of her writing courses, past, present, and future without your price changing. So over the summer, I took her course on brainstorming because I was having, just like I said, I was having that creative block issue and I wanted to kind of work through that. So I took her brainstorming course and then I also took her course on Save the Cat just because I wanted to really make sure that I understood 
all of the elements I needed to put in my outline that I could then bring into my novel to make it work especially now that I'm kind of fluxing genres a little bit so I took both of those courses but I really just want to make sure that I use everything that I've learned from Save the Cat the Book and Save the Cat the Course and my outline is just like ready to go by November 1st. Speaking of resources, I also want to really read Story Genius. This is another writing craft book that has come highly recommended from me by a bunch of different writers and authors, published and not. Um, I have kind of gone through like the couple of chapters and just like skimmed and highlighted and took some notes in, but I really just want to like read this cover to cover, take some notes down, and just kind of you know pull these tips too. Basically I don't want to spend any time in November asking questions that I could have answered by reading these books or going over courses in October. So October education check, writing craft check, those are getting done. Last kind of like resource thing, course thing that I want to do during my preptober time is to take Jessica Brody's newest course which is all about fast drafting. So Obviously the goal of NaNo is to write um, a novel. The NaNo goal, like I think everyone's like default target is around 50,000 words. I know I don't have that in me, so my goal is to write 30,000 words, but 30,000 words in a month is still a lot of words. That's like literally a thousand words a day, which given on, given the day, given like what else is going on, obviously I still have to work. I'll still be doing YouTube videos. I'll be documenting NaNo, but also my other content will still go up. So it's a lot to balance and I wanted to keep it realistic. So I really want to take her fast drafting course to see what tips she has for hitting your writing targets, making steady progress every single day, what to do if you need to take a day off. So I will let you all know what I think about that course once I take it, but I've, I've really loved all the courses that I've taken of her so far, so I have very high hopes. I also want to make a character profile for every single character in my novel. One thing that I found when I was working on my earlier drafting was that I'm obsessed with my main character and I know nothing about the other people in this novel. <laughs> There was a scene that I was working on because um, my main character has like a little bit of a contentious moment with her best friend and as I was reading it and I shared it with someone and let them read it they were like it seems like this person is having an argument with a robot like she has no personality she has no motivations we don't really get why she's here she's just kind of serving as a sounding board for your main character which of course she is because I haven't built this woman to be anything so I really do want to go through just my list of characters and just write out at least the bare bones basics of my side characters. I have obviously a very good idea about my main character, who she is, what she wants, what makes her tick, but I really do need to kind of build out the other people who are living in her world. Obviously 30 days of writing is a lot of days of consistent writing and I want to make sure that I'm setting myself up to actually complete 30,000 words. So I also need to take time to just look at my calendar and figure out like what are the days that I can get a lot more writing done, what are the days I'll probably need to take off. I am planning on taking off that um, first week of November if I can for my full-time job just so that I also have that kind of buffer week to transition into the month. So that'll help me with writing and also help me with scheduling some content ahead. I'm not, I know I'm going to have to change my content schedule from my end on the production end, but I don't want to change the days that I'm posting. So like right now, I'm usually getting blog posts up on Tuesdays and Thursdays, videos up on Wednesdays and Sundays. So I really just want to keep that momentum going with my other content, but I also just want to make sure I'm dedicating enough time to nano obviously the first week of november is um election day which you know i'm i'm positively optimistic please vote register to vote vote early vote um but i did a live last night with phoebe of read and write and we were talking about like we don't know what our mental health is going to be like in november um obviously it's going to be a very ugh, chaotic month politically I'm sure regardless of the outcomes of this election but there's just going to be a lot going on and I want to give myself space and be real with myself about what I can actually do in 30 days while also keeping in mind that this goal is so important to me and 
I don't I want to just make sure that I'm doing as much as I can scheduling wise to give myself some grace there's a lot of other things that I'm considering when I build out this schedule but I think my plan is to one put writing blocks in my Google Calendar so just time block hours off on the days that I know I'm going to be writing so that I have that and I don't schedule over it I don't let anything take that spot that is my dedicated time to write also I'm going to make a calendar on a Google spreadsheet that just gives me kind of like um, a way to document my daily word counts every day so that I, I know like okay you wrote 500 words today so maybe tomorrow you try to write 1800 and then you build up all the things that you missed on those days or okay you have an off day coming up next week so instead of a thousand words a day you need to write 1600 words every day for the next three days just helping me track my word count and timing and just again being realistic and giving myself some grace because I know that there are just going to be days where I wake up and don't have it in me. And the last thing I'm focused on for Preptober and arguably this is one of the most important things is just checking all of my bad habits and trying to replace them with really really good ones. Namely my morning and my nighttime routines. I have been very lenient with myself during quarantine because I don't have a commute to work obviously I've been spending the bulk of my time in the house so it's okay if I stay up a little bit later and then wake up a little bit later so I really have let my morning and evening routines kind of slip I have some weeks where I'm like really good about it but obviously November needs to be a month where I'm really good about it if you're also trying to like build up good habits for any reason the time to do it is before it matters most so I don't want to wait until November 1st to start putting myself to bed on time and waking up early enough to get some writing done. I'm thinking about even just putting um, an like reintroducing the habit tracker into my bullet journal just so that I can track like went to bed on time woke up on time and then once November comes around if I hit my nano goal for the day just because I think when I have something to check off every day it motivates me that much more to just stay focused and get it done. All right, so those are my NaNoWriMo goals, my 30,000 word count goal, and my Preptober checklist. I'm so excited to attempt this and document it and hopefully accomplish my goal. And let me know if any of you are doing NaNo or if you have content or updates you'd like to see from me. I think right now my plan is to do kind of a weekly vlog, so replacing my weekend vlogs with a more uh, extensive vlog that captures some of my nano work as well but if there's other specific things you'd like to see let me know in the comments um i'm literally like pumped about this so i cannot wait to meet other writers through this and to make a real real dent in this novel i'll include links below to everything i mentioned the books that i'm using books um that I have used in the past and also links to Jessica Brody's writing course. I also have links to all of my social media and my blog in the description box so if you have other questions or wonder if I've shared other things about this definitely check my Instagram and my blog. They also have a ton of content on them. On Instagram I've been doing live videos that we save as IGTV episodes with Phoebe of Read and Write. Our series is called How Novel and we've been kind of talking about all of our novel writing processes, struggles, strategies, and we also talked about our plans for NaNo and our Preptober plans. So I will link both of those videos below too. We'd love if you check them out. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to this channel. I post new videos every single week and I will see you all in the next one. Is this what you want now? Feels like you're looking for something better.